Flex at Max Future, and this is a video is going to be about the Raspberry Pi 7 inch touchscreen display. So, I just ordered it. Uh, the foundation behind Raspberry Pi uh, released the first official uh, touchscreen for the Raspberry Pi. Now, there have been other touchscreens. Now, what is Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi, I have one of the second versions that came out, this is the B version, is a small computer. Uh, that's just really the processor port and and ports that uh, this uh, foundation in England came out with that's cost only $35. And the idea is that people who can't really afford computers could maybe afford this $35 computer that runs a version of Linux that um, you can boot up. And now there's actually other software like Windows can run on Raspberry Pi. Uh, but the thing is, the idea is it's thirty-five dollars, and it comes with like an HDMI port, USB port, Ethernet ports, and you use a you know you could use a little charging device like the kind used for a BlackBerry, one of those little power um, things that you see around for cell phones, and um, and you can, can hook it up to a TV that takes an HDMI monitor or an old-fashioned VGA TV, and you could have your own computer. You could hook up a mouse to it. Actually, I also have a little Wi-Fi module in there. But the idea is it's a really cheap computer. And now the people behind that have come out with an official touch screen. And uh, it's made by element14.com. But, um, but this is really cool. Now, this, I think, costs around $60. I think I got it from overseas with shipping. And with all of that, I think it came to like $70. But this is a, it can, it can take 10 finger touch. So then I'm just going to open it up here, and you get a nice uh, official safety guide from Raspberry Pi here. So that's the first thing you see. And let's see, you, you, you get this this uh, protection here, and you get several things. So you get a this is a actually a board that um, that works with this uh, Raspberry Pi. You can see the board. Uh, it's in a static-free wrapper here. So you're going to connect this to the, the display, and you've got some cables that are going to be connected to the board from your Raspberry Pi. Now, the, there's newer models of the Raspberry Pi um, that maybe uh, work better with this. I mean, it still works with the old version, but here's, um, well, I'll get to that, but let's, let's see what else is in here. So you have this, uh, this board. And then you have, here is the, the display, and it's all wrapped up. Let me see if I can take it out. Oh, in addition to that, you've got like this ribbon cable, and you've got these screws, these mounting screws, because basically you can mount a Raspberry Pi to the back of the display. So you've got this. And there's just more padding here. So let's take the display out. And here it is. It's a nice display. It is like, uh, you know, a little plastic to keep it clean. But on the back, you see that there are these mounting holes. And here's a ribbon. And this is going to, I think, also connect to this, to this board. This board is going to connect to these ribbons that come out and drive it. And then you're going to mount these, this board here, and then you're going to mount uh, this. This is an older model of the Raspberry Pi, the version B, but the B Plus and on are designed to have holes in them to make it easy to mount on top of, of um, the mounts that are here. You see there's a pass-through hole. So anyway, so this is my 7-inch... Raspberry Pi official touch screen. It can, it can handle 10 fingers touching it at the same time, distinguish 10 touches. So uh, hopefully I'll make some other videos showing how I get this to work. So if, if you want to see more videos on how I set up this touch screen with the Raspberry Pi, um, subscribe and I'll try to do some more. This is an Apple-centric um, channel, but I still like to dabble in other technology. So check it out.